I get him. Oh, he broke me. He's right there. No. Oh, there he was. No. All right, so we are quite possibly the best gas station in America. I'm just gonna go ahead and say that. Uh, outside of Bucky's, okay? This is a close second. Waterfront Grocery here at Lake Gunnersville. We're fixing to fill up. We're gonna go in here, check out some tackle, get some food, get fueled up. So y'all come on with us. Spend some money too. That's what fishermen do. We're good at that, spending money. I mean, you know it's a fishing gas station. If y'all have never seen this place, it's, this is like Disneyland. <laughs> Morning. All right, let's sneak back here. They only got Jacob. They got Jacob Wheeler rods up front. Come on, they're supposed to have some J. Lee sticks, you know? Hooks. Just a, a giant selection of hooks over here. They literally got anything you want. I mean, I'm, from one end to another, right here, we got shaky heads, hooks, blade baits spoons but we're not here for any of that you know some caffeine for today you know this is the hardest decision for a fisherman usually is drinks snacks the tackle and everything that that's easy but we're gonna go sit this up front we'll walk down some of these aisles show y'all what's up every time you come in here there's something new for, i mean it's stuff you've never seen really who's that Come on. Oh, they, I found one. No, no, they got one of my rods. There's literally one rod in here. That may, that's either good or bad. That's either good saying people have bought them or it's bad saying they ordered one. I need, I do need some frogs. Y'all have any of the swamp lords in here? Yeah. Yeah, this is the, a new frog from Berkeley. We'll just take it out of the pack. You know, I'm gonna buy it anyways. Bobby Lane helped design it. It's really soft. Um, well, the legs were taped in there, but it's a really soft frog. It's got some good hooks on it. And the, the key is just, you know, when, when you're throwing a frog in these mats and stuff like we're gonna do today is just having something that collapses really well, that holds up to. You know, you can catch a lot of fish on this. I've been catching them on the popping frog pretty good. Now the fish are probably starting to get in the mats. I wanted to get a couple extra. A lot of good colors, but the softness of it, you know, makes it walk good. And that's what you want. Most important part of the morning, what biscuit you order. And we're gonna do a review on this, on the best biscuit you can get. I, I, that's my goal this fall, not to catch a bunch of fish. Everybody wants, you know, I ain't worried about that. I want to find the best biscuit. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna we're gonna do a review outside so we don't look like idiots in here. That's what we're doing. Right, I'm gonna do a bologna egg and cheese biscuit. Hmm? Okay, so most important part of a fisherman's morning, especially when you come to waterfront, is is the biscuit you choose, okay? I, I chose this morning, i probably throw you off a little bit, bologna, egg, and cheese. Let's take a look at this, okay? The, the presentation's beautiful with this. Look at this nice, nicely wrapped aluminum foil. All right, we open this juicy thing up. And, uh, you know, presentation, I'm gonna give, you know, probably, I'm gonna give a seven out of 10. I mean, you see the, the bologna's a little charred on the outside. It's not the same color through and through. Um, fried egg, not scrambled. You know, I'm, I'm indifferent to that. So let's take the first bite. I need two bites, I'm gonna tell y'all. First bite, pretty solid. Second bite, even better. Mmm, good biscuit, solid. Bologna egg and cheese. Try my go-to. 
I chose this one first. So you know I like it. Guys, this is pretty solid biscuit right here. I'm gonna have to give this thing, I'm gonna have to get an 8.5 out of 10. I think this is the best one I've ever had. You can see the steam just coming off of it. I mean, it's hot. I mean, it's been sitting out for about 10 minutes. Solid. So, uh, don't really know what we're doing today. I know where we're at though. We're on Lake Gunnersville. That's the one thing I do know. And there's not, there's not a plan for today or anything. You know, we're going out. This is, this is one of my favorite times of year to fish. You know, I mean, you can see the fog on the water. It's cold this morning. It's middle October. There's two things that go on this time of year. You know, you got a frog bite, you got a flipping bite. Two of my favorite ways to catch fish. That's why we're out here. I mean, if, if we were coming out here to, you know, drop shot or whatever, I wouldn't be out here. I'd be in the bed still. So you gotta have something to get you out of the bed in the morning. So that's what we're doing. I don't know where any fish are at. I know where one little, one little pot of fish are at we're not going to them right off the giddy though i'm gonna hopefully find some fish show y'all why the fish are there and kind of walk through that but it's either going to be on a frog or it's going to be on a flipping stick that i do know let's go for a ride so we can find some it's cold I think the frog bite, I think it dies out here on the, in the main lake grass, the flipping bite starts turning on and I think the, the frogfish start turning on in the pockets. Start getting little points and little turns in the grass this time of year too. Big rattle off the giddy oh is he still on there i mean a butterball starting off the day come on i mean this is about this was about the fifth flip blew out the mat i think it's gonna be a pretty good day what do y'all think? That sound though. Ah! I mean, that's gotta be the best sound for a bass fisherman. That's gotta be. About a three pounder. That's why this time of year, man, we may not get another bite all day, but I think we probably will. This time of year, you know, guys are in the deer stand. It's hard, it's hard for me not to come out here and try to find them doing this. Come on, geese. I'm not expecting much here. I just, I was just curious. I'm gonna maybe flip this point. There's times though, I don't, like, when you get up, you get up shallow like this, you get around this, I don't know if it matters, sometimes I think it does, where the eelgrass is not caked over on the bottom, I just don't like that. I mean, it should push them out here on this backside with this water, as low as it is right now. They could be out there in the middle too. Move down just a little base. It's deep. There we go. Little chunk. 
my accent. Man, it's been it's been tough so far. You know, we've been we've been bouncing around a lot. I mean, not a big fish, but we did just get two bites uh, out here on the main drag, and that's one thing Gunnersville to me. I mean, even fishing here a lot, it's never the same. You know, there's always it's always changing. That's any lake. You know, when you're grass fishing, it's always to me, you know, important looking for those edges, right? I mean, whether it's backside, uh, uh, you know, like this mat, we're fishing an edge. Front main river channel, you see we got a hard, pretty hard edge right there. So that's what I'm, I'm trying to figure out. Hey, is the, is the bite on the main river? Uh, you know, it could be today. It may, may wasn't yesterday, I don't know. But we got two, you know, pretty quick bites. So we're gonna do this for a little while. See if we can't put something together. I mean, really, it doesn't matter what you're doing, but not when you're not getting bit, and you you know you do you give it 30 minutes an hour i feel like to me that's that's when it's time to mix it up just a little bit you know not just keep doing the same thing over and over because that's what that's what i do a lot is you know well, i think the fish are doing this and you just stick with it all day and you know by the time the end of the day you you've only done one thing and fish one way so it's good to keep kind of mixing it up and just seeing what works. Everybody gets, everybody hates when you hit the side of the boat. I, I love it. That's character. You gotta have that character. Oh, look at that ding. Yeah, I didn't see that one. That was, that's a big weight. You found, oh, did it? You know, that's what the fiberglass shop's for is to fix them i mean it's a tool you gotta you know when you're when you're dobbing two ounce weights around something bad is bound to happen i know you'd never get bit in that mat in a million years just because it looks too good but that would just be that would be amazing you always hear people say that like oh you just find something different in the grass find something different now Cause that's the that's the most that's as different as you can get right there. And if I don't if I don't get bit out of it, I'm calling all those people out. Same bluegill out here on the edge. You'd probably just throw a chatterbait out here on the edge and catch them. But that'd be too easy. <laughs> it wasn't. <laughs> It was just hanging up. bigger than I thought. I don't know if y'all just heard me say this is pretty cool right here though, but just punch this one up. He was like, there's like inside line right here. Almost, almost probably three and three quarter. So it's a good fish. But there's a little, sorry it may splash you. There's a little I, I, a defined line and I can see where stuff is blowing in there. And that that fish was right there on that little edge. I can just kind of tell. And there may not be anything to that, but there could be. So at least it's a bite. I mean, it's all this eelgrass right here. This could all have got blown in last night or a couple of days ago. And those fish could be, you know, relating to a little edge or something. So that's something to take note. I mean, it may be the only bite I get right here, but it's kind of cool that saw that little edge and caught one. I mean, I could kind of snake around right through here and find some more little spots, so. Another one, same kind of little pattern right there. Not a big one. 
same deal though. Eelgrass and then we got some hydrilla that's hid tucked back in there. I, I think that's what happens a lot of times. There could be a good flipping bot and you just kind of just drive, just miss, miss them a little bit because you got so much of this floating stuff that they don't really like, I think. And then you got the good stuff that's way, way back there. I'd love to dial that in a little bit more. It's interesting though. Two bots doing that, looking way back in where I can see the, the hydrilla. All hydrilla back here. Oh, your mic's back here. I was wondering I, why. Oh, dang. I completely forgot. I got another one on. Set it. <laughs> <laughs> That would have been, <laughs> that's pretty funny. If I can get in there. Yeah, it's big. This is, this is Jordan's screaming hole. Did I get him? Oh, he broke me, he's right there. No, no. Oh, there he was. No. What are we talking about a slap in the face? Well, that's pretty much how our day's going right there. Sometimes you just get beat, you know? Sometimes you just get absolutely beat by the fish, by your rod, reels. Jordan, he, he's behind the camera right now. He's like, uh, I got a screamer hole. Well, we got we got a screamer, but he put it to me. Lost my two ounce weight. I may as well just end on that one. All right, wrapping up. Day on Gunners will knock an ounce and a half weights off the side of the boat. Ding my boat up. Really, honestly, the best part of the day was probably the biscuit. Um, Bony egg and cheese with, with fire. If y'all ain't tried that out, that's, uh, that's probably what you're gonna take from this video is, is the biscuit. And next time, I don't know what we're gonna get, but it's probably gonna be fire too. But have fun out here punching. Uh, that last one decided to slap me in the face and that's kind of how it went, but hope y'all enjoyed it.